we are taking chapter number four, climate. Rearrange the 10 stations in two different sequences according to their distance from the equator. So these were the, you know, if you see the question, then we have to arrange them according to the distance from the equator. So we have an equator here. We are from 8 degree to around 37 degrees. So uh, distance from the equator, that is the maximum should be here, the minimum should be here. So here we have Thiruvananthapuram, then Bangalore, then we have Chennai, then uh, we have all this. So let us go by the highest one first. So we have Leh here, Leh. Then we come to Delhi, then Jodhpur, Jodhpur, then we have Shillong here, then we have Kolkata, Nagpur, then Mumbai, then Chennai, and I suppose it should be Bangalore first and then Chennai after. So we just switch it off, switch it, these two places. Then the Thiruvanam Puram, that is Trivandrum of Kerala. Altitude above mean sea level, so highest and lowest. So Leh is, is the highest, then comes Fisher Long, then we have Bangalore, then comes Nagpur, then Jodhpur, then we have Delhi, then comes Tiruvananthapuram, Trivandrum, and then Mumbai, then Chennai, and finally Kolkata. Name two rainiest stations means the places where it rains the most. The answer is Shillong and Mumbai. Shillong and Mumbai. Name two driest station. That means least rain. Leh and Jodhpur. So Jodhpur is here, and this Jodhpur comes where? It's a. It's come in Rajasthan. And Rajasthan, as we know, this area, Thar Desert, it, it is the driest place. Then we have one more dry place, which is the uh, Ladakh region. It's a cold desert. And we have Leh here. Leh. Name two station with most equable climate. Equable climate. That means the temperature, or you can say Sam Jalvayu. Sam Jalvayu. The uh, there is no moderation, lot of moderation in the, in the, you can say season or temperatures. Tiruvananthapuram and Mumbai, these are two places. Name two stations with most extreme climate, extreme climate. So Leh and Jodhpur, it's very hot, Jodhpur is quite hot, Leh is quite cold. Name two stations most influenced by the Arabian branch of South West Monsoon. So this is the Arabian Sea, this is the Arabian branch. So name two stations most influenced by this South West Dakshin Pashim Monsoon. It's Mumbai and Tiruvananthapuram. Name two stations most influenced by the Bay of Bengal branch of Southwest Monsoons. So again the answer is because we are talking about this now. So we have the this place. It answer, enters from the Hubli Kolkata area. So Kolkata and then Shillong. Name two stations influenced by both branches of southwest monsoons. So this one also and this one also. What is the place? Delhi and Nagpur. Name two stations influenced by retreating and northeast monsoons. So this is the northeast monsoons, right here, northeast monsoon and the retreating monsoons. These all the lines I made just make it retreating. So the answer is Thiruvarandapuram and Chennai. Name two stations receiving winter showers from the western disturbances. So these are the western disturbances, Pashchimi Vikshob. The answer is Delhi and Kolkata. Name two hottest stations in the month of February. February, Tiruvananthapuram and Chennai. April, Nagpur and uh, Chennai. May, Nagpur, uh, Delhi of course and Jodhpur. And June, it's Jodhpur and Delhi. 
find out why are Tiruvananthapuram and Shillong rainier in June than in July. So the reason is why they are rainier means uh, you know it is raining there in June as the monsoons arrival occurs in both the places in June, and the initial impact of this monsoon is an intense period of heavy rain, monsoon plus fort. So we have Tiruvananthapuram and the, Sh the Shillong area mostly affected. You see here, see, this is first June. The slide is of first June. Why is July rainier in Mumbai than in Thir Tiruvananthapuram? So the monsoon reaches Mumbai about ten days after. If you see, see, it's uh, one June here and tenth June it reaches Mumbai. So the reason is exactly this. The monsoon reaches Mumbai after ten days. If it starts from here first June, it reaches tenth June. Uh, after Tiruvananthapuram, and so the initial impact of monsoon continues in, into the next month. So after the first initial downpour, the monsoon falls into a steady pattern of raining for at least a couple of hours most days. So it reduces in Tiruvananthapuram here earlier than in Mumbai. Why are southwest monsoons less rainy in Chennai, this area? See, Chennai doesn't receive much rain during the southwest monsoon. So when these are going, these uh, you can say the monsoon winds, so they, this area is a, a parallel area to these uh, winds direction. So it doesn't rain here. But here, if you see these are western ghats. So the wind, uh, because of the western ghat, this area receives maximum rainfall. So, Chennai doesn't receive much rain during the southwest monsoon as the south of India, that is the state of uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala, they get most of its uh, rainfall from the northeast monsoon from October to December. Why is Shillong rainier than Kolkata? Shillong is a hilly, a hilly area. If you, if you remember, we have Khasi, Jentia, Garo, all these uh, are the mountains here. So, it's a hilly area and the hills trap the monsoon winds. Hill traps the monsoon winds, so it rains here. It drains there. It drains its uh, moisture here. So the Shillong becomes rainier than Kolkata. Why is Kolkata rainier in July than in June? Unlike Shillong, which is rainier in June than in July. So the reason is the monsoon reaches Shillong. If you see, it reaches earlier than Kolkata. That is, you if you see this, this is first June and it reaches here. And the initial impact is quite heavier, monsoon plus four than the later showers. So Shillong is is quite uh, rainier, while when these reaches here and they bend down from Kolkata, it's quite some time. And the Kolkata is, the, is rainier in July rather than in June. Why does a Delhi receive more rain than Jodhpur? Delhi receives more than Jodhpur. Jodhpur is actually on the edge of this Thar Desert. It's on the edge, and by the time the monsoon reaches or monsoon winds reaches this place, the moisture is almost finished. So Delhi is is more easter if you see it's, it ha it has quite distance from Jodhpur, and therefore it re uh, receives more rainfall as compared to Jodhpur. Tiruvananthapuram has equable climate. You have to think that. So write it. First of all, Tiruvananthapuram is a sea coast. The moderating influence of sea, the sea makes the climate equable. And it is near the equator. See, we are at 8 degrees. So, it is 0 degree here. So, it is quite near to the equator. At the equator, all the seasons have similar temperatures. So, this makes the climate quite equable. Then, the next is, Chennai has more rains only after fury of monsoon in over in most parts of the country. So what happens, Chennai receives most of the rainfall from the northeast monsoon which gives rains mostly from October to December and not the southwest monsoon. So this, these monsoons, these monsoons it doesn't gain. But these monsoons, when it comes down here, when it is coming from the say land area to land area, it doesn't, doesn't give any moisture, doesn't have any moisture. But when it comes here, also it has no moisture. But when it comes down here, these winds, they gain the moisture from the warm, warm ocean, warm sea. So now they have water. So when they come here at the Koromandal 
घाट और कोरोमंडल कोस्ट दे रेन सो चेन्नई रिसीव मोस्ट ऑफ इट फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट रादर देन दू नो साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून फ्रॉम अक्टूबर टू डिसम्बर सो दैट इज वाई चेन्नई गेट्स मोस्ट ऑफ इट्स रेनफॉल लेटर देन मोस्ट अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री Jodhpur has hot desert type climate so this Jodhpur has hot desert type climate so Jodhpur is in the extreme western western part of the india so when the monsoon winds reaches it they are already exa already exhausted they have lost most of their moisture more to add it it is on the edge of thar desert that is why it is having a hot desert type of climate le le here le has moderate precipitation almost throughout the year now it's a cold desert le lies in the cold desert called ladakh which is a valley in between two mountain ranges so no monsoon winds are able to reach if you have mountain monsoon, you know say hill here so mon monsoon either from here or here they cannot reach that is why it is in the valley in between two mountain ranges so no monsoon winds are able to reach that is why it has a moderate precipitation almost throughout the year Next question is while in Delhi and Jodhpur most of the rain is confined in the nearly 3 months in Tiruvananthapuram and Shillong it is almost 9 months of the year the reason is Tiruvananthapuram is at the sea coast and it receives rainfall from both the southwest monsoon and the northeast monsoon and besides receiving rainfall due to local disturbances while these these um, you know winds are picking up moisture from the sea Shillong in this case is a hilly area and so receives rainfall from the monsoon as well as from the local disturbances which are trapped by these uh, high mountains hill area in spite of these facts he carefully there are strong evidences to conclude that the monsoon still provide a very strong framework lending overall climatic unity to the whole country so the seasonal alteration of the wind system and the associated weather conditions they provide a rhythm uh, uh, you can say a cyclic rhythmic uh, seasons so we have four seasons and two of the seasons are mainly the incoming uh, monsoon and the retreating monsoons so monsoon rains are unevenly distributed and it's quite uncertain if you talk about indian landscape plant animal agriculture people festivities they all revolve around this monsoon So all the Indian people eagerly await the arrival of the monsoon. It binds the whole country by providing water, which uh, sets all agricultural activities in motion. That is why the monsoon is considered a unifying bond. So these were some additional questions and answers for this uh, topic. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.